Hello and welcome to Stairlift Guru. Today we will be looking at Stairlift Servicing and Maintenance Guide in the UK. But before we start do not forget to head over to stairliftguru.co.uk to get your free Stairlift quote. We are your one-stop shop for all things when it comes to Stairlifts. Let us now get into it and start. Planning for problems would help you save money so you won't have to spend time maintaining the Stairlift until the Stairlift has completed its service. Here is a breakdown of Stairlift Maintenance and Stairlift Servicing Breakdown. Stairlift Servicing Quick Guide and Easy Steps to Follow Stairlift Servicing When a Stairlift is mounted is expected to be used regularly, if not every day. As a result, the Stairlift provider knows you deserve to be relaxed, knowing that it will work if you need it. Stairlift companies are on hand to do whatever you need when it comes to Stairlift Servicing. How often should I have my service for my Stairlift? Even if you haven't had any issues with your stairlift, it is advised that you schedule a stairlift service every 12 months. Suppose you have a reconditioned stairlift mounted or an older model of a curved or straight stairlift. Stairlift companies can advise that it be more regular every 6 months, mainly if the stairlift is used every day. A specialist must carefully examine your stairlift's electrical and mechanical elements to make sure it is working. Do you have to pay for stairlift servicing in your home? Stairlift servicing, when choosing to buy a stairlift, the common concern you might have is will I have to pay for the stairlift service? You may need a completely new stairlift. Stairlift prices for new stairlifts are more than reconditioned stairlift. This is because, in the unfortunate event that the stairlift malfunctions, you would not have to think about maintenance costs. Most businesses only have a one-year warranty. Most stairlift companies, Though, have a two-year guarantee as usual. You can buy coverage and extra insurance in the case of injuries following the two-year warranty on a curved or straight stairlift, as with a few home appliances. This ensures you are protected from unintentional destruction and structural failure in all. Reasons for stairlift servicing. Stairlift servicing, please note that you should check what the stairlift company such as Acorn Stairlifts is offering when buying a stairlift when it comes to afterlife care. This is because different ones offer different aftercare. This can also be dictated by the stairlift price and how much you pay. Unusual operations when using the stairlift. If your stairlift is hesitating due to a transmission gear problem, it's just a question of when not if it breaks, so you need to get it checked. This is why stairlift servicing is key. Random error codes pop up on the stairlift. The diagnosis monitor releases new signs or signals while sitting or in motion. This could be down to the lift controller or circuit board fails. Unusual sounds or gestures coming from the stairlift. As the user rides the stairlift often, they will become acquainted with the intended sounds and feel of the stairlift. It would help if you double-checked all. Stairlift stops going up the stairs like before. The stairlift seems to be operating well when it hits the ground level, at which point it slows and stops going up the stairs. This warning means that the lift motor's existence is coming to an end. It is essential to provide an experienced professional capable of diagnosing and checking the power supply and inspecting the associated safety circuits. Stairlift beeping and chirping noise. A discordant and distressing sound will alert you to the fact that your batteries are not charging. It's likely that the energy at the outlet has run out or that there's an issue with the power supply. Scrapping noise coming from the stairlift. Since the best that you can achieve with treatment right now is the same as the worst, there is no alternative but to speed up and repair it as far as possible. Though rollers are the most common source of scraping noises, worn internal components can also be a problem. Loose cover on the stairlift. While covers should differ to distinguish an object, they should never come off as though they are loose, broken, or jingling. You should get them checked if it starts doing that. Cracked or broken stairlift sections. And if one of the lifts is injured, it is common for the lift to continue operating. Another downside to reading short tales is that the listener cannot benefit from anything about them. This is not only unfavorable, but it can even cause the viewer to forget the story. The seat raise is broken here. Intermittent processes when using the stairlift. The stairlift is occasionally in use, but it can sometimes halt. There may be several issues, such as an electronic fault or even a threat to the staff. Why is your stairlift not working currently in your home? Fortunately for you, 
a well-built and well-maintained lift will most likely provide you with a straightforward solution. If you have a stairlift issue, you can use any of these elevator troubleshooting tips to solve fundamental stairlift problems as well. Here is why your stairlift is not working. Stairlift prices do range but, the more expensive stairlifts come with better aftercare. Also, it depends on the stairlift company you buy your stairlift from because different companies offer different aftercare. So keep this in mind when you buy a stairlift. Is the swivel seat locked into the correct place? Stairlift servicing, to secure the seat on the stairlift, manufacturers usually have a hand trigger that allows the seat to be set to stay fixed in the forward position. The computer would be made inoperable if the seat shifted. Are the arms and legs stuck in the down position on the seat? To ensure the safety of your stairlift, make sure the armrest or footrest is securely bolted to the board. Are there any barriers on the stairs obstructing it? Check that the stairs are open. Since most chairlifts have a sensory plate that prevents the object if sensed, this would throw off the stairlift's calibration. Is the lift still wired into the mains? Stairlifts must be plugged into an electrical socket to be used, but many are battery operated. If you unplug this, the battery in your lift will run out. Is the main switch turned into an on position? If you're going to use a lift model, make sure it's been checked. Is the lift receiving power from the mains? Most stairlifts often have an electricity alarm display. If these lights are turned off, or just the red light is turned on, the value of the stairlift operation is limited. Perhaps the battery has died, or the plug is broken. Make sure that it appears like a lamp and works as a lamp. The problem is likely with the outlet rather than the stairlift. It is possible that your stairlift battery needs to be replaced, which can be accomplished by contacting your stairlift dealer. Summary of Stairlift Servicing Stairlift servicing, although these guidelines can sound simple, looking for these problems may help prevent specific service calls. However, often a stairlift may need a battery repair service or a malfunctioning part. One way to stop getting an issue with your stairlift is to plan annual preventive servicing visits. This will help keep the lift running correctly and extend its longevity. Before selecting a stairlift dealer, be sure to ask about their ability to maintain the stairlift they mount. We hope this helped you broke down the stairlift maintenance and stairlift servicing breakdown. Thank you for listening to our video on stairlift servicing and maintenance guide in the UK. We hope this has helped you understand more. If you want to buy a stairlift then please go to our website and get a free quote at stairliftguru.co.uk, or if you just want to learn more then go to our website to learn more. Thank you.